everyone? All right, everyone hear me? Okay, cool, cool. All right, so my name is Patrick Phnom Tungalergo. Uh, I know it's a mouthful. My major is web design and development. I'm here to present to you my application called Musica Map. Musica Map is not only an app that I made to really help everyone in their busy lives, but it's an app that I developed as a culmination of the skills I've learned here at Full Sail. Before I can really get into what Musica Map is, I've got to show you this picture here. This is a uh, this is a wireframe, my first wireframe that I've made. I know it doesn't look like much, but this was the thing that I made to make my website called 8pounds.com. 8pounds is a music publication that I created before I even knew how to even make websites. The only thing that I knew is that I wanted to share my love of music with everyone, uh, including my friends. So I went ahead and started sketching this thing out. And thank God I didn't know how to make any websites because, uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't want that to live on the web, truth be told. <laughs> so with 8 Pounds, it was something that I used to really understand the music industry. I was grateful enough to be able to work with a lot of talented individuals as well as AR, a and r representatives and PR specialists. There's a lot of great musicians here in Orlando as well, including event coordinators. So with my experience with working with all of them, I was able to understand that there, there's a desire uh, between all these individuals as well as the fans of music. When I first started 8 Pounds about a year and a half ago, uh, I didn't have any followers, but currently we're rounding out to 3,400 Twitter followers, as well as near uh, 6,300 Instagram followers. And our engagement is something that I never even expected. This is before I even cared about social media or anything like that. And before it was just me, but I've got a great team behind me currently, and I'm pretty excited about that future. So from eight pounds, the next logical thing for me to do is develop an app that can satisfy the need that I was referring to earlier. So what is Musicum? Musicum is an application that pretty much just congregates a lot of, it aggregates a lot of uh, music feeds. So it's a content aggregation application and it fetches all your favorite music feeds and brings them into one location that just makes discovering music easier. What I've been able to do is get a set list of top curated brands. And these brands are some brands that you might be familiar with, uh, such as the Rolling Stone. And the brands that I picked were mainly based off of certain criteria, such as with Rolling Stone, I mainly picked them, you can clearly see their audience. They have about 5 million Facebook followers, almost 6 million Twitter followers, and they have a really great uh, interaction with their fan base. So it was an easy pick for me to choose Rolling Stone as one of my brands. And I also picked Hot New Hip Hop, mainly because it was genre specific. I wanted to pick vast genres, such as hip hop, which is something that I'm more familiar with, as well as EDM. So I I've also have EDM, EDM.com. With Hot New Hip Hop, their engagement is, they, they normally have a, about one million page page visits on a monthly basis. So they're, they're one of the big, bigger players in the hip hop industry. And I also wanted to pick smaller brands. One of the smaller brands I picked was Fake Shore Drive, which is a Chicago-based brand. And they've been extremely pivotal pivotal to the development of the Chicago music scene. Most of us are aware of Kanye West uh, as well as Chance the Rapper. So they've been able to get their music out there, which is something that I aspire to do with my brand, Eight Pounds, which I've also included. And with Musicum, here's just a brief demo. The application, you can see what I have is all the latest posts from all these different brands, and you can actually distinguish what brands that these posts are from, and you'll be able to filter how you want to discover your music.
something that I've noticed when I researched Musica Map during my, my building process was that most, most publishers have been gearing towards social media when it comes to getting, getting content and getting their content discovered. And really, it's the mere fact that we have our phones on us all the time. So this was an important key detail. I wanted to make sure that I followed this trend. And essentially, I wanted to make sure that Musico Map was ready to scale for the future. So when it comes down to it, what does Musicum do? One, Musicum helps you discover the diamonds in the rough. A lot of times we don't, we don't have the actual time to look for new music content. We might find a couple of coals right there in the dirt. What Musicum helps you do is to discover those diamonds without you actually having to lift the finger. I mean, you do have to lift the finger. It's on your phone, but you, get, you know what I mean. All right, and then uh, it also helps brands get closer to their consumers. And the last thing it does is saves you from a lot of shame from when you're not in the loop of what's going on in the local music scene or your friends are talking about if you heard any new music lately, which you haven't even heard the new Taylor Swift song. So one thing with Musicum, you don't want to be this guy. Shame. 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 Shame on you. Shame. Don't be this guy. <laughs> With Musicum, I use a few technologies to help me build this application to make it as fast as possible, at least as fast as I knew how to use it. And I used Firebase, which a lot of us tech guys will know is a real-time database. What this pretty much means is anytime any of these brands would post new content, it will come immediately to Musicum, which means it will come immediately to you, the consumer. I also use Node.js. To, to build a platform, as well as using Google, Google's cloud platform. And for styling, to make it look all nice, uh, I've used AngularJS. So I've, I've pretty much used a, a lot of Google stuff. <laughs> the future of Musicum includes streaming platforms such as Apple Music and Spotify. And we also want to include uh, more, more, more brands that, that we probably aren't aware of. I want to look towards international international brands and international blogs to include in there. So with Musicum, the last thing I want to do before I close out is just to leave you with this tagline, which is discover, fetch, and feed. It pretty much just means to really, if I was to tie it in with my journey here at Full Cell, it's just discover what it is you want to do discover what kind of music you want to listen to, fetch it, fetch how you want to approach your dream, fetch the content that you actually want to listen to, and feed. Pretty much just, just indulge, just, just enjoy yourself. So I, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. My name is Patrick from Noam Tunga Lirico. If you ever want to reach me, you can check me out on LinkedIn, email me anytime at me at Patrick for Noam. If you want to take a look at the code base on how I built Musicum and uh, other cool apps that I've made, um, I've actually tried to make a tic-tac-toe app, but that didn't work out too well. But if you want to take a look at it, it's on github.com. And if you need any music suggestions, just send me a tweet at Patrick Phenome. Thank you.